There was gingham on the table. Breakfast was toast with a choice of Vegemite or Lacastine's marmalade. The whole room smelt a little of rancid milk. Mother said it was good for mopping floors, and here the tiles were white and white again halfway up the walls. The milk had been skimmed before she spilt it. The cream went into the churn for butter. The aga took a shovelful of slack to damp it down, and the Bakelite radio blared. There were white plates and soup tureens. The old meat safe pushed aside, making room for a refrigerator, both milk-coloured. And then, after breakfast, our mother would go outside, still in her long silk dressing gown, step into the painting studio, let it slip about her long smooth flesh and take her pose. One hand held to cup the breast I almost still remembered suckling. Father had his bed in the studio and slept with his work. He sketched her in with black, still in his slippers, then reached for paints, lending her gaze a wantonness which wasn't really there his palate a blush of butter, creams and roses. When he'd finished for the time being, she'd slide back the silk and leave him to his writing. There'd be etching in the afternoon. Every time she slipped that skin, my father found something different in my mother. Mermaid, siren, seductress, riding men's bald-headed souls to drowning ecstasies, sporting the bright blue eye shadow she never once wore. But I wanted him to paint her in her night dress at morning's first glimmer, with her clanking galvanized bucket and her bare feet, picking her way down the garden path to milk the cow. <laughs>